Hello and welcome to today's web news, where we take a look at some of the stories making the online headlines. Coming up on today's show, Ukraine opposition activists take us inside the home of the ex-Attorney General. The death of an Australian celebrity throws a spotlight on cyberbullying. And comedians reenacting movie scenes dressed as food. After storming the suburban Kiev estate of the ousted president this weekend, Ukraine's anti-government protesters have now taken over the home of a former high-ranking regime official, the ex-Attorney General Viktor Pshonka. A lavish mansion which, just like Viktor Yanukovych's abode, has been full of surprises. As we can see from these photos posted online by activist Chubak Evan, the former Attorney General was also living in astonishing luxury. Extravagant interior design complete with the very latest in high-tech equipment and gadgets. And not to mention the indoor swimming pool and jacuzzi. Web users say the opulence is proof of large-scale corruption within the government. And some are also making fun of Viktor Pshonka's taste in home decor. Sharing these photos showing a porcelain dog sitting in a living room, gold taps in the bathroom and the gaudy, flamboyant style of certain rooms around the plush villa. The photos also suggest a Viktor Pshonka has a somewhat overinflated ego. As we can see, he's rather partial to hanging portraits of himself. And some of the paintings are a bit tacky. This one, showing the ex-Attorney General dressed up as Caesar, for example, is proving particularly popular online. Australian web users have been reacting to the death of Charlotte Dawson. The 47-year-old model and TV personality was found dead in her Sydney home on Saturday. And while initial findings in the investigation are pointing towards suicide, many have taken to Twitter to share their sorrow. Comments often tinged with anger, as some web users believe the constant abuse from cyberbullies on social networks prompted Charlotte Dawson to take her own life. She had been bombarded with bullying messages from online trolls for two years. Web users posting death threats or encouraging her to commit suicide under the Die Charlotte hashtag. The top model had attempted to take her own life in August 2012, telling the Twitter trolls they got what they wanted. But she went on to play an active role in anti-bullying operations. And now Australian web users are continuing the campaign, using the hashtag Charlotte's Law, urging the authorities to tighten up regulations on cyberbullying. Her petition has also been started, calling on the Australian government to punish anyone infringing existing legislation. It's proving pretty successful so far, with over 139,000 signatures and counting. British web users have been joining the Bangers to Cancer campaign on Twitter and Facebook to raise funds for breast cancer awareness. Launched a few weeks ago, it consists of sharing a photo of yourself in a bra, holding a sign with details on how to donate to the cause, and nominating three others to do the same. Money raised goes to the UK charity Breast Cancer Care. Google-backed initiative Global Forest Watch was launched last week and aims to provide near real-time information on deforestation around the world. The interactive map will use satellite imagery and scientific data dating from the year 2000 onwards to visualise and track the impact of global deforestation. It will also use data from people on the ground so web users can get actively involved, sharing information about deforestation in Peru, for example, or unauthorised logging in the Congo. For his spring autumn project, Singaporean artist Kozop photographed young people swapping clothes with their parents and grandparents. He wanted to explore age stereotype and the role of clothes in society, particularly in Asian nations where the traditional clothing or ethnic attire is often in stark contrast with the more contemporary styles worn by younger people.
Here's the latest offering from American comedy collective Dos Padres, the team that reenacts scenes from well-known movies, dressed up as giant bananas, tomatoes, corn on the cob and even hunks of cheese. And this time they've paid tribute to the 1995 thriller Seven, directed by David Fincher. And you can check it out in its entirety on YouTube. He wants you to shoot him. You tell me that's not true! That's not true! Become vengeance, tomato. You tell me she's all right! Become wrath. You're the one who made her scrumptious, tomato.